How is a political party structured? There are three components or elements of political parties. First is the party in the electorate. The party in the electorate is the rank and file membership of the political party. In American politics, however, party membership is very loosely defined. One becomes a member of one political party or another simply by associating himself or herself with a party and perhaps by voting for its candidates. There really are no formal requirements that must be met in order to be a party member. Most simply, the party in the electorate consists of voters who vote for the party's candidates at any particular time. The party in the electorate is the passive component of the party, functioning sort of like consumers, comparing products they may wish to buy. In this market, the consumers are voters who decide among the respective party's products, that is, candidates for office. The party in government consists of all government officers in the legislative and executive branches and in some jurisdictions in the judicial branch that are elected as a candidate or a nominee of the political party. In some political systems, most notably in many parliamentary democracies, the term party in government may be used to denote the party that holds the most seats in parliament and therefore runs the government. In the American political system, with its scheme of separation of powers and the frequent phenomenon of divided party government that results, the term party in government generally cannot be used in the context associated with parliamentary systems to mean the party that controls government. In the American system, it is often difficult to say definitively which party is running the government. The party organization consists of all the party officials. In the American system, this would include the national party chairs and national committee members, the state party chairs and state committee members, the county and precinct chairs, and the county and precinct committee members. These party officers run the internal operation of the party organization, but the primary goal of the party organization is to work for the election of the party's candidates for governmental office. We have established that the party in the electorate is the most passive component of the party and functions in a sort of consumer role. The party organization works to sell the party's wares to the electorate. In theory, the party organization exercises some degree of leverage over the party and government, ensuring that elected officials carry out the platform that has been devised by the rank and file. In the practice of the American system, the role of party organizations is limited to little more than service organizations for the party and government, running elections, conducting get-out-the-vote drives, and providing some campaign support services for its candidates. In the American system, the party and government is really the dominant element of the party, a fact which may help explain why throughout much of the history of the American party system, party voting in Congress and state legislatures has been limited, particularly when contrasted to the frequency of party line voting in parliamentary systems.